Hey you guys, it's me, Rena Wells. Welcome back to another reading. Um, if you are new, welcome. I'm going to be doing a collect, and welcome to my returning subscribers. Um, I'm sorry, the energy is coming through a lot, and I'm sorry for the wind blowing. I'm in near the equator. It's stinking hot here. I can't put the fan on because my mic picks it up, and it just it's worse. So I'm gonna speak as loudly as I possibly can. The mic is facing me, and um, I hope you can push through the wind. Just take it as a sign that whenever the wind comes, it's Father Energy Creator coming through to um, heighten the vibes. Okay, so um, I'm feeling a lot of um, energy clashes happening in the collective right now. I'm feeling divine feminine, some of them getting very angry and pulled into more of the karmic energies, and then I'm feeling, you know, uh, masculine, uh, kind of still playing both ends of the fence of, you know, juggling back and forth. It just feels like a complete mess. So Spirit wanted to bring through some energies in regards to um, what is happening in the Twin Flame for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. It's not, I'm going to do my best not to have it like an hour long because um, I do have readings. I'm doing this in between readings. I have a bit of a break. So um, yeah, I want to see where the masculine energy currently is at. What is going on with the Divine Masculine right now? And spirit, what I would like to, and guys, whatever comes up for this, just take a look at it. Um, you may want to research the God that comes through, the masculine energy, the expression of the creator in this form. What is going on for masculine energy? Thank you, spirit. What is going on for the Twin Flame Collective right now? And the masculine energy. We have beauty. By May. Bay May. Okay, so there's something about beauty um seeing beauty he's wearing a mask <laughs> it's like come oh, covid um but no i feel it's something to do with what's really beautiful to him there's like this gross chicken that's being born like a gross egg and it's almost like he's seeing something now of what's real beauty that's what i'm getting that's where he is right now Let's see where he's at towards karmic energies. What's going on with the masculine towards karmic? War. So he's at war with karmic energies right now. So this is why spirit wants divine feminine to stay out. Okay. Like I understand that um, it can be a little um, crazy, crazy making, you know, but uh, spirit really wants you to, I'm going to move this here a little bit. Spirit really wants you to not get involved in this. Okay, let's see how he is towards Divine Feminine. Protection. So he's protecting the Divine Feminine in some way. We have Anubis. So, yeah, things are not good on that side. And um, this is why Divine Feminine, you'll be feeling a lot of attacks and it's really confusing and it's really like, Ew, what is this energy? And... Um, yeah, that's why Spirit brought that message through this morning. You know, try to move on. Try not to attach it from a darker place because the more dark energies you give, you're feeding into this war. You're feeding into this energy. You're giving them help. You don't want to help karmic energies, right? So you got to transcend those lower vibrations. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Feminine. Where is she sitting with this Divine Masculine? So let's do it this way. Yeah, this is him towards karmic. This is masculine energy. And this is him towards the divine feminine. Let's see where the divine feminine is at currently. Where's the divine feminine in the collective right now, spirit? Or with the masculine with... Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Helen and Troy was on the top. What is going on with the divine feminine? She's got a lot going on. See the chaotic energy that's coming out, guys? Um... So Divine Feminines, if you're feeling all over the place, this is what's happening. Spirit, look, Helen of Troy again is on the bottom. Beauty. This is a beauty thing. Okay, I'm going to put this since that came out. I've seen it twice, so I'm taking it. You're both in a place of what's really beautiful. Okay? And Helen of Troy was beautiful inside and out. But Spirit is like, you've got to um, see how you see yourself beautiful. You're not going to match beauty standards of this world. You may, but that's not beauty. <laughs> Real, we, we all get old and get wrinkled and die. Okay? So basically, you got to get over the aesthetics, right? Spirit is like, there's a masculine watching you here. Look. 
You may, you don't see him, but he sees your beauty. So there's something in the energies that are happening right now in regards to, I'm going to do the weekly, um, obviously, um, I don't know if I have time tonight, but I will probably by Wednesday, I'll get the weekly out. I'm sorry guys, I'm like swamped with work and reading. So this is, um, he's looking at what's really ugly. So you're both mirroring exactly of what real beauty's like. What is the divine feminine towards the karmic? justice so she wants her justice here okay so she's in her warrior stance and she's like i want this justice so that justice is also playing into the war though right god knows that you want justice your divine masculine knows you want everyone knows about the justice but if you keep hanging on to this and it's going to play into that war that justice can be very warlike that's why spirits had to use this deck too because it can be very warlike and you can become very destructive in your righteous views of wanting that justice. The, knowing your justice and surrendering it to God is an entirely different vibration. It's like, yeah, I want my justice. And if it happens, it happens. And I'm going to allow spirit to do what it needs. To. And if it comes back to me in a different person or even with my twin, great. I'm accepting of however it comes back to me. That's the energy of Divine Feminine. But this energy with Divine Feminine is really upset right now because her focus is like, I want my justice. And it's creating, um, it's disrupting the energy balance is what I'm getting. Let the masculine be at war with this karmic energy. It's his fight. It's his fight. So, yeah. And what is the divine um, feminine? The masculine sees her and is protecting her. What is the divine feminine in this energy with the masculine protecting her? Plenty. So she's working on her abundance, okay? She's working on harvesting what she desires. So, yeah. What energy is the karmic energy in? I'm going to just pull a middle row to see the separation of the karmic energy now where is the karmic energy at with the masculine towards the masculine and towards the divine feminine whoa that's like a lot i want one uh i want one sorry guys i want one i'm not gonna have enough room just give me one spirit the karmic towards the divine feminine Sorry, there was too many to explain there. I was getting too many messages and I just need one creation. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to put these on the outskirts here. That's what they think. Towards the divine individuation. Artemis. Hmm. Individuation. I feel it's like individuality. Hmm. Give me a sec. I'm going to have to look that up. Individuation. I, I know a lot of high... <laughs> nerdy terms but that's a new one for me it must have something to do with individuality okay let's see what this karmic thinks of the uh the beauty aspect which is between divine masculine and divine feminine that's a little much healing in gateways they're not able to use their um energy towards this anymore they're seeing that this connection between divine masculine and divine feminine are healing and it's a new gateway that's opened up. And so toward, I gotta, I gotta look this up. Hold on guys. I'm going to look that up. Hey guys. So I looked it up and it means, um, gaining transformation through separation. So they're at war about finding their own true self in regards to, sorry, I'm going to fix that in regards to, um, yeah, they're they're uh, finding their own true self. They don't want to find themselves. That's the fight. That's what they're at war because they're so attached to this mask and they want to find it with that person. They know a gateway is opened up with divine feminine. They're healing these beauty issues and um, they see that divine feminine is supported by the mother earth, by creation, right? She's a creator in her own right and they see that. And so they don't like that, okay? And what is this karmic energy in regards to the masculine protecting 
the divine feminine and that she's going to get this well right she's going to harvest this so this is the energy that's going on and so spirit is like divine feminine you gotta like pull your energy back and really focus on yourself and transmute this light now okay um yeah magic morgan lafay so they're using magic to separate this that's what's happening they're using magic to separate this all right guys i'm had to use my phone and so I had to move the camera yeah so that's what spirit is saying you've got to move away from these energies right now divine feminine because it's really really toxic there's magic happening there's a new energy that's opening up and um spirit doesn't want you to get pulled into that I'm gonna pull some of these I haven't used these in a while but I want to see these um images of where the karmic energy is currently at I want to see what energy is the karmic feeding off of the masculine and what are they feeding off the feminine and what, yeah, and vice versa. Let's see. What is this karmic feeding off the masculine energy right now? What is this karmic energy feeding off the masculine? What are they feeding off the masculine? And come out. What is this karmic energy feeding off the masculine? What are they feeding off the feminine? What are they feeding off the feminine? Yeah. Wow. So they're feeding off that. They're feeding off this. They're at war here. And where's the feminine here in regards to her energy with this new gateway opening up and the be true beauty and the abundance? Where's the feminine energy at spirit in the collective? Okay, exactly, exactly. I'm going to get show you guys these cards in a minute. Where's the divine masculine in regards to the feminine and his beauty? Oh, yeah, he's in a dark place. And what is going on towards the karmic? Wow. This is why feminine's got to move away. Okay. They don't want to heal by themselves. So there's something happening here with the masculine who's at war with the karmic. How is the masculine feeling towards the feminine here? Well, this is the feminine towards the karmic. He's in, well, how is he feeling towards the protection towards the feminine? He's psychically trying to protect her, but he's in a cycle, okay. So guys, this is what I'm getting here. Um, what about this gateway spirit that's opening up for the twins of healing? Well, oh, it's a little too much. See, it's it's the energies are so scattered, guys. There's so much change that's happening. Gateways and healing for the twins. Okay. There is something the divine this and see the divine feminine has control over this, okay? For union. This is like a union card, okay, coming together and and honoring this connection here. But it's up to Divine Feminine to hold this type of vibration. That's what's happening right now. That's what's happening right now. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Divine Feminine, okay. Um, where you're at right now towards this karmic energies and towards the entire situation here. Yeah, Spirit saying to look at this one first. This is you and your twin here. Okay, there's like a face here, right? And she's looking here. She's looking at both of you are seeing each other, but look how much darkness is between the two of you. You're viewing each other through the darkness because that's where your masculine or your twin or your counterpart currently is at. Okay, there's a lot of this magic stuff that they're doing. This is the karmic energy with the magic towards the divine feminine, keeping her in this dark place from getting into her light space. Okay, trying to bind the divine feminine with this magic work okay um she's starting to recognize see these feminines are waking up to it right of um and i mean some of them could be in some of them are intentionally doing it and then there's others that aren't you know people that want to 
think that they, I'm sorry, like I played guitar like so much yesterday that my calluses are peeling off my fingers. Sorry. Um, they're, they're intentionally doing it or when they're trying to pray or work through their stuff, they don't know. They've been working in dark so long. They're not praying to the creator. They're, they're working with the demon and it's creating more issues. Okay. So you got to take it with what's resonating for you. And, but this feminine is waking up to it. Okay. We have here how the mask, how the karmic is towards the masculine. This is what she feeds off of. She's in her own vase and she siphons this energy coming in into her space. And she feels peaceful when she's with him because this is what she gets from him in her own little bubble. Not seeing anything else outside of herself. Very selfish energy. In my little vase, in my little world. And this is what you give to me. And I take this and I get to grow it and hold it for myself. There's no other person in this, in this picture. Right? Th that's what they've been doing to uh transform um and individuatism is like coming into your own power by through transformation of being alone right but towards the masculine they're fighting this i'm gonna i'm gonna pull a tarot on that i'm gonna pull these um twin tarot they're only the major arcanas so they're light and dark the reversal and the upright meaning Tell me about this karmic energy with the individualism and the, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and the uh, vase here towards the masculine. Yeah, it's injustice and tower in reverse. So they're trying, to, they think it's an injustice, the scales are unbalanced, and they don't want this to fall apart. So they are creating this illusion. I'm doing this work. Don't you see? Like, I'm actually doing this work. And they're siphoning off the masculine here. Okay? So that's what they're doing. And now there's war happening here with the divine masculine towards the karmic energy. But the energy that we got there, this is the masculine towards the karmic. He's playing in it to a certain degree, guys. Okay? There's like another person here. This is like a person with a split personality, but these two people, that could be divine feminine in the background that he's feeling. And this person's a dark person. This is the masculine, knowing who his feminine is, but he's playing in these toxic patterns. He's listening to the different entities and things like that here. Because so many different voices that he's listening and it's creating war for him. So let's clarify that. So... Again, this is why um, Spirit was saying, Divine Femme, you can't play in this because he's not fully out of it. He may know what he wants in the energies and he may be aware of what he needs to do, but there's something still holding him in this, right? So what uh, clarification to this Spirit for the Divine Masculine towards the Karmic? <laughs> the Devil Upright, see? He's still addicted temperance in reverse the high priestess in reverse he's trying to like block his intuition judgment he he thinks he can get a renewal out of this i'm going to clarify that he's made the decision to come into to be okay with it he's obsessed with this whatever energy work they've been doing he's formed some kind of addiction to it he's not going to see purity in this at all it's a lot of dark energies um he may have put his feminine for some of you on the side until like he gets the renewal that he desires from this situation. I'm going to clarify this judgment. It's like he wants this, but he's, he's blocked off to his intuition and he's very imbalanced. So he wants a renewal out of his talk. Thank you. Sir. He wants a renewal out of his toxic energy, but he's trying to block his intuition and he's, it's causing imbalance. Yeah, that's why he's not able to rise into his emperor self. He's got to let go of control, guys. That's the whole problem right there. Because how this is affecting divine feminine now, Spirit is pulling me to show you this. This connection is in the dark energies, right? You're talking to this person and it's complete darkness, okay? Um, Spirit is saying... This is what's happening. It's keeping you in a dark place, divine feminine, 
whatever's happening to your intuition, you've got to follow that and to this little rosebud coming out of her mouth to speak your truth, to know your truth, to stand your ground in what you know is good for yourself. Pull me a card on that image, spirit. Yeah, the hermit in reverse, okay? That's not one resistant going into the cave. It's like sitting on the cave, knowing that you have to pull back and you have to find your 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 light, your power. So this is exactly what I was saying. This is more about becoming empowered in yourself to pull out of these energies that are happening right now because this is dark. Clarify this picture here with plenty. Yeah, you have to put a halt here and be strong, Divine Feminine, okay? We have the Chariot in reverse with the Strength card and tame that ego because um, to gain your abundance, it's not going to be through this energy right now, okay? Yes, there's magic happening. Yes, there is injustice happening, right? Let's clarify that injustice towards the Karmic energy, please, for Divine Feminine towards the Karmic. Justice with the injustice, okay? So look at this where did that card go <laughs> oh my dear god um here justice you want justice right two different cards you want this karmic justice you want it so bad spirit is like you've got to move away from what is right spirit knows what's right spirit knows what's right you know what's right but spirit is like you've got to move away from this overly focused energy of getting your justice you've got to trust that and surrender it to spirit here it's keeping you in the shadows okay it's keeping it dark it's allowing the dark in so you've got to transmute that you got to go pull back your energy you got to go in and do your work because what's happening here this masculine is still in a really dark space here see he's 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 another face up here too who's being completely siphoning over his energies he's trying to protect you from this cycle here he's in a cycle but he's trying to protect you psychically that's why he's not opening up psychically okay let's clarify this with the masculine energy the hanged man the hanged one he's 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 resisting surrender here see how he's losing his money this mask is going through a massive like money loss and all of these other things so um so he's trying to protect you in a sense this is protection rejection is protection right now um because the white has got to level up here too right it's a leveling up yeah he's he's in the midst of ending something the higher fend tradition so he's protecting you but it doesn't look like it He's somewhat enjoying that spirit. If he's somewhat enjoying and still in a toxic situation, what's holding him back from actually ending it? Because in his mind, he's saying he's ending it. In the energies, he's saying he's ending it. He knows he needs his balance. He knows if he ends it, he'll gain balance. He knows that. So what is this obsession that he's still having? He's, a, he's almost like addicted to his little um, home that he's created in his, that's what it is. This mask has a lot of walls up and we get really comfortable with energies that we know how to control. That's his control issue. Thank you, spirit. We know that if we live in a certain comfort zone, we know how to handle the toxic people in our life, you know, especially um, relationships and if you're accustomed to being in a toxic relationship there can be an addictive quality to it that because it feels so good you can control it you can get off on it you can get what you want but it also keeps you trapped and this door is open to this masculine to move out right he's sitting here it's his inner child with his horse and here's divine feminine like no 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 I'm playing. I'm having so much fun, but you don't see it, and you don't want to come out and join me. And um, divine spirits like divine family, you can't sit on this wall anymore. Like it's done. You need to flip over to the other end now. Okay, you've got to find your abundance and heal those patterns now, because he's he's okay in this comfort zone, and that's what's keeping him trapped. Because he knows if he ends it, he'll get all of this beautiful abundance. Look at that. There's a swan here. He'll get alchemizing energy, but he's not doing it because he is accustomed to control that he can control this situation i need a sip of water guys just give me a sec god it's so stinking hot okay yeah he is okay with the control 
That's what I'm getting from Spirit. He's okay with his confinement here. Yeah, he's resisting his transformation. He's resisting ending it because he, he knows this energy. He can control this energy. Um, divine Feminine coming towards Divine Feminine, that's scary for him. Because he doesn't know what to, he can't control the outcome. And so this is a masculine that has massive control issues to surrendering himself. So that's why Divine Feminine Spirit is really asking me to move forward. He's recognizing beauty right now, and so is the Divine Feminine okay um and coming into this place but it's this place of union this gateway is starting to open up here but it's because of divine feminine has to walk through it first clarify this for the divine feminine with the twins the magician see um you're being manipulated from walking into that and you know how because this karmic energy is playing into you through your still they're going to still do the dark work energy they're still going to hang on to your masculine and create injustice so that you can stay in a place of justice that's the loophole guys when the karmic creates the injustice it makes the divine feminine want justice and that's the tug of war right there one's on one end of the string pulling i want you know i'm going to create the injustice you fight for the justice the only way is to let go of that rope Okay, Divine Feminine, because you're aiding this, this uh, spell work, the dark energies to happen. And this gateway is opening up, Spirit is saying, that the feminine energy has to walk through here, healing these gateways. Okay, Sheila, Sheila Nagig, I know a song, medicine song by that. Sheila Na, um, and Bridget healing, I thought it was coming to me. Yeah, but it's opening these new gateways of healing. And that's for union. So you've got to move into this vibrant energy and, and not be manipulated by what's happening. See, dark can mimic the light, right? So you can say, but I just want my justice and it's right. But the ego wants to be right. That's what you have to transcend and let go. That's the heart. That's the tricky part. Great insight from this reading, guys. There is union coming here in the energies, but you have to move into wherever your path is guiding you to find feminine. Okay. And it's not that you're letting go. You always, God knows that you want your, to be with your twin. God wants that too. But it, it's also, again, listen to the dark works that I channeled today. This is about using your connection. It's not about union. It's about coming into your greatest power ever, right? That's what twin flames are supposed to be like. And the cherry on the top is if your masculine wakes up and God, um, you've done your healing and you guys come together. Clarify this union energy here, spirit. Yeah, it's in the hangman position to gain enlightenment here. So divine feminine, it's stagnant for a reason. Okay. And the divine masculine towards this energy, please. He has to end the cycle. It'll help him end the cycle when you walk through the gateway first. Okay, we have yin yang here, balance here. Okay, loyalty. And what about towards the divine feminine going through? Oops, she's not playing in the shadow work anymore, beating it, and she lets go. The masculine towards that energy. Woo! Where did that go? Judgment in reverse. It's going to create disparity and um, <laughs> doubt in his life when he can't feel the feminine anymore. Because she's not playing the justice game anymore of what's right and wrong. Wow. Yeah, great read today, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, if you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to work with me on a coaching session, we go really deep. Channel teaching specifically for you right from the one creator. I don't work with anyone else. And uh, they're highly transformative. So if you're interested, email me. Check out my website. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Let me know how this resonated for you in the comments below. I try to answer everyone. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye, guys.